So today we have this dual Cybertruck and it's a foundation series. Basically, I think what Tesla decided to do, besides increasing the price for last five years, since in 2019, the price supposed to go from 40, now it's going from 60. So right now they were ready to deliver those dual motor Cybertrucks for about 80,000. But they said, let's do a little bit money. We're gonna say this car is gonna be foundation series. So basically we're gonna do some additions like the floor mats, autopilot, and all that kind of cool stuff. But it's still gonna be same dual. So you're gonna pay 103,000 MSRP for this beautiful truck to get it right now. And I think right now in January, 2024, you have to put thousand as a deposit, not hundred dollars. So what are you gonna get as a foundation uh, Cybertruck version series? We're gonna see right now, I'm gonna tell you what I know about this truck, the way it drives and the way this car got cool things, what the other trucks don't have yet. This car has 607 horsepower, about 340 range and only two motors. So we don't have three like a beast, less horsepower less price supposed to be but again since it is a foundation edition foundation series whatever it's called you're gonna pay 20,000 extra and the quality I filmed those cars before and I did some shorts on it but you can see the quality all the angles they are about the same what it's supposed to be and it's kind of sharp so you might gonna cut your finger or somebody else gonna get hurt that's the way the truck look and that's the way they build it. I think this car is gonna be a perfect example how the truck supposed to look like later on. But to do that, you have to keep this truck dirty always. Don't wash it, don't clean it. Even the fingerprints, they're like everywhere because this truck, everybody touch it. So you basically getting all that kind of parts and things you can put together as a whole car and you can enjoy it or you can change some parts and add it but again it's not going to be perfect shape it is a lego car it's supposed to be dirty it's supposed to be go everywhere but same time it's a fancy i think one of the coolest truck ever built that's the tesla cyber truck you know why because this car could be full of mat dirty and you still can go to the nobu malibu and everybody gonna say wow so let's go to the front trunk and see what's the space we got there. You can open it by pushing the button right there. You can push the button on screen or on your app from your phone. We kind of have some space. Uh, I would say Tesla S probably has more or X, but again, that's the truck. I think in my understanding, this truck supposed to, you're supposed to drive it with no trunk lid. So just remove it, put some stuff here, and it's gonna be Mad Max movie in real life. So look at this windshield wiper. That's massive, that's insanely crazy, huge. And probably it's gonna cost money. I don't think AutoZone gonna sell it. Only Tesla. I don't know how much it's gonna be, but it's crazy. So it's basically covering the whole windshield on the driver's side and about 70, maybe 75% on the passenger side. But again, it's more than enough because you have uh, cameras everywhere and the car is full self-driving. Those shapes are just crazy. Again, it's not aligned because I think that's the whole idea of the car. It's supposed to be this way. Massive, aggressive, not like any other car before. So the wheels for me was so much interesting part. And I can tell right now that's a good year. We have a size 285, 65R20. It's all terrain tires and there is a hubcaps. Hubcaps, we have a rubber part and the plastic cup. Much better it's gonna look like without the caps if I'm gonna remove it, but I'm not gonna do it because they're so dirty and the tires already warning out on the side because all four wheels basically turning when you turn on the steering wheel. Let's see that right now. So let's go on the trunk compartment. Since it's a truck, you're probably gonna use it for a lot of different things. You might gonna put your cyber uh, quad inside or a lot of stuff for the construction. Is it gonna fit it? Probably yes. 
So the door is opening and not going to close automatically. You have to push it. It's about the same again as the Toyota Tundra. I think so. The cool things, I have a outlets. I can put 120 or 240. That's nice, especially if I want to do some kind of heavy job and I need to plug in my tools. So right there we have one more compartment. Looks like it is protected from the water, but I have no idea how it's going to be after the heavy rain. Probably supposed to be staying dry because that's the compartment for your charging equipment. Okay. What else we got in the trunk? In the trunk, we also got lightning bar going on the both side. We can see the rear window right now, but again, as soon as we're gonna cover tunnel, you're gonna see it right now, the rear window just disappeared. So basically you're not gonna be able to use your uh, rear view mirror because there is no glass, there is no place to look through. But, the camera is going to save you in case you want to check what's going on on the back when you're driving in the traffic or something going on you want to see. And the tunnel is covered. You have a lot of important stuff inside and it's heavy rain or heavy snow. That's only camera going to save you. There is no backup mirror. The car itself sharpie, I would say so, because right now we have a front fender and it's just piece of metal. And right there on the corner, you can feel it like you can cut your finger and that's maybe so easy but i wouldn't let my kids play with that again because it's a fully stainless steel this car overheating and outside right now the temperature not crazy hot like in june but the car itself already super super hot now i have a question is it somebody gonna try to sue the tesla for that same as the someone to the McDonald's for hot cup. I think possibly, why not? If you're gonna get, uh, if you're gonna get burned, you might gonna try to sue Elon for that. So Tesla has the best software in the whole automotive industry. That's whatever you're gonna say about EV cars. Like my opinion about EV cars, it's totally different, but the software it's just amazing it's insane look number one how you can check the car on the screen and do kind of any things whatever you want to do you want to open the window i'm doing it on the passenger side and i can see it on the picture on the screen isn't crazy it is crazy so what about the driver window i'm opening it and again it's doing same thing right there when i'm open the door it's going to show i'm opening even when I'm turning the steering wheel on the left or on the right, you can see how the wheels are turning also. Just because of those weird technologies, it's not weird actually, VS technology been done back in Japan in the 90s. This car is super sharp to turn left or right, same time. It's super sharp when you change in the lanes after during you driving on the freeway or in the city doesn't matter what so you have to get used to it so basically you have to drive it for a bit with no traffic maybe and see how sharp this car gonna be so you can adjust your driving abilities especially for this truck because it's massive it's a huge look at the dashboard i cannot even touch the end of my dashboard look at this windshield it's just massive again the windshield actually not that expensive i was thinking it's going to be much much more it's 1900 for the windshield itself do i need it not really let's go to the steering wheel again we got the crazy shape it's not yoke anymore but it's something different there is no tesla signs anywhere even right there we have only cyber truck sign but the steering wheel got actual horn it's not button anymore that's a huge button right there in the middle and the steering wheel itself got actual buttons too because it used to be like a touch pad right now there is actual buttons you can click that's nice my new x doesn't have that and basically i hate that steering wheel so let's go on the screen let's go on the software what we can do here we can adjust the suspension as before we can open or close the tunnel open it same time we can open the trunk lid 
even the front trunk we can open it and close it right here from the screen let's go to the menu is it different it's kind of different from the regular tesla there's a lot of adjustments about your driving mode acceleration all like the car before uh, autopilot but what i want to check that's the charging so 291 miles range we have right now and it's about 340 it's supposed to be on the full charge service software full self-driving computer upgrades no upgrades yet safety the best software ever produced on the car anyone nobody doing it better than tesla so 90 degree door opening that's super comfortable super easy entry besides that the back seat we can lift it up to get more space and it's not something unusual i would say so because the ford doing it same thing on the ford f-150 since 90s or maybe years before so the back screen besides the main option as a climate control or your youtube favorite videos we can do actually some adjustments on that we can go on the seat we can turn on the heated back seats we have three zone heating and also we can adjust the front passenger seat to give you more room as a passenger on the back that's something probably going to be useful as you want to drive on the back and watch your favorite youtube channel and daily rides Thank you.